Oh, welcome everybody. Hello. I am Zinbad. Welcome on in. Today we are checking out American Arcadia, which is a 2.5D puzzle platformer, but also there's some first person elements. There's a couple different perspectives. It's it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, it is set in a 70s retro futuristic world where your main character is stuck in a television show and then tries to get out. So I'll let the game speak for itself beyond that, but uh, let's get on in. Wow, what is this, Mr. Walton? This comet is our new project, Arcadia. It looks like a city from outer space. <laughs> Not quite. Arcadia is indeed a city, but it would be built right here in America. Golly. Picture a city of dreams and hopes for the young and old alike, where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. Gee, that sounds like a dream, Mr. Walton. Because it is a dream, Comet. And remember, to reach our dreams, we need to... Soar higher than ever before. I like that illustration style on... Are you ready to proceed then? The mascot there. Um, yes. Yes, I'm ready. Good. We're recording now. So, please, sir, state your name, age, and occupation. Trevor Hills, 28. Senior account manager at INAC. Although, I'm not sure about that anymore. I'm also the most popular person in Arcadia. But you probably already know that, right? Subject 10392, you are entering a oh. restricted area. I'm supposed to be moving, Start okay. Running and surrender now. I can jump. Turn yourself in or be neutralized. Oh, things are not looking good for Trevor here. Catch me first, you jerk. Man, I guess we already know he gets caught, so... Yes, we know that, Mr. Hills. Please continue. Clearly, he didn't do a very good job of running away. I used to have a mundane life. Just my everyday routine. And I, I liked it that way. But I think it all probably began about two weeks before that dreadful day. Morning, Arcadia. Uh, Waking up at a crisp 7 a.m. Temperature of 77.1 degrees and a humidity <laughs> of 53% on this beautiful sunny Friday morning. Good morning, Arcadia. <sighs> this bedroom is nice. Who has a bedroom this big? What's that? We have a pet turtle. Morning, Kovacs. Kovacs, said, nice. Up for another exquisite cabbage breakfast? <laughs> that a boy. I've never had any like super interesting pets growing up. It was always cats. We had a few dogs growing up, but mostly cats. I was pretty Some good fish at, at one point. Was a kid. But I'm not into video games anymore. Not into video games anymore. Can't relate. Well, it's not a Steinway, but it fits in my comfy hobbit hole. Nice. You know, I've always wanted to learn to play keyboard, piano, but... I have yet to set this side, set aside the time for it. I've got a keyboard, but... Morning, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. They got their little Amazon delivery drone. And off. over here on your right, you can see the Walton Family Memorial. It's a massive sculpture carved in stone of Elijah Walton, uh, his brother Donald, and Vivian Walton, Elijah's granddaughter and current Arcadia representative. Next stop, Inac Gemini Tower West. Walton makes me think of Walt like Walt Disney. 
It's kind of an alt Disney situation. Trevor Hills, welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. You've been working with us for nine years, ten months, and fourteen days. Thank you for your dedication. Still trying to beat my Spectrex high score, Mitch? It's just a matter of time, Trevor. Just a matter of time. <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah, but I'm not a big gamer anymore, he says. But he's still over here setting records on arcade machine. Hello. Hey, Trevor. Are you up for the Blitz Festival party tonight? It's in the Limelight Club. Sorry, no can do. I'm I'm behind schedule. And I'm not much into clubbing either. Think you can have fun by yourselves without the life and soul of the party? Ha! We'll try our best, ma'am. Mm. Nice. Ada, the automated data. I love how colorful it is. Powerful computer ever built. INAC technology inside. Trevor, my man! Hi, Gus. You look good, buddy. Been going to the gym? Nah, I don't need a gym to keep this ripped body in shape. Hills jeans! By the way, you going to the Blitz party tonight? Nope, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to have a little bit of fun once in a while? Sending the Ada. I do have fun, moderately. I enjoy doing my job. Validated. You won't be enjoying it so much now that Romano is our new supervisor. Sending to Ada. What? Will Romano? Seriously? I love those tubes. Like moron. Um, uh, validated. You know, Gus. Sometimes reminds me of um. Absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious. Like the tubes at the bank. Company. I didn't you know what I'm talking about. Interested in the supervisor's job. I'm sending it to Ada. Validated. And I and I'm not. But William Romano, man. You gotta be kidding me. Have you ever wanted to leave all your worries behind and have the time of your life while exploring the world and making unforgettable memories? Now, thanks to the Arcadia Edge Travel Grant, you can experience what you've only dared to dream of. Because not everyone who wanders is lost. The Edge Travel Grant, only in Arcadia. Apply now through Ordinary Mail or Adenet. Hmm. Um, Interesting. Mr. Hills. You haven't really told us anything out of the ordinary so far. Do you really need to go through? I, I know what I've told you might seem irrelevant now, but it'll help you understand later. Trust me. Nine days before that day. Good morning, Arcadia. It's another beautiful day in the city of tomorrow. We're expecting a high of 75 degrees and humidity of 66 Let me just say, whenever my alarm goes off in the morning, if I manage to get up at my first alarm, I cannot just turn it off and immediately roll out of bed. Like, I need some wake-up time. For me, it's like an hour. But I couldn't imagine my alarm waking up and just like immediately rolling out of bed. Could not do it. Good to see you, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. Oh, I hope you are up for a pleasant stroll along Memory Lake. So keep those cameras ready, because you might get some really, really nice pics of the Arcadia Spire up there. Next stop. Some I people can just, like, wake up and immediately spring out of bed, yeah, but they, they can't really do it. My brother's one of those people, say, but... Is he sick, or...? I need at least a little bit to he wake up. left early today. Really? He didn't say anything to me. We're gonna fall behind schedule. Man, I'll be working overtime to send all these Ada memos by myself. <laughs> Thank you, Gus. Look at all this extra work you put on me, Gus. Jesus, this is gonna take me forever to finish. I should have been home three hours ago, and I still have a ton of work to do. Hmm. Hmm. Press Y to interact with the device. Hey, hey, I'm still oh. working here. What? Six days before that dreadful day. Uh, 
crisp 7 a.m. wake up. Eh? I'm being watched. Definitely being watched. I love the warm color palette. My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner. His name is... Hey, isn't that Gus? Augustus Rainey, <laughs> a 31-year-old senior account manager at INAC. Soon, Gus will be enjoying Fiji's pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. I hope he packed an Aloha shirt and a pair of sunglasses. Hmm, that's weird. Gus was never interested in any of this. Hmm. If he wasn't interested in any of it, I wonder if he just got disappeared. So, I barely got to meet him, you know. They promoted me to a supervisor uh, two days later. Gus the Globetrotter left us. <laughs> Romano, I really doubt that Gus ever applied for the travel grant. Ah, uh, you know Gus. Romano reminds me of the guy from Son of a gun, though, huh? Office Space, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Fiji. Ooh, I'd kill for a beach trip right about now. Anyway, it makes it's just the vibe he gives off. I'll be ready, Romano. Don't worry about it. Just eating my snack, watching my TV. What on earth? Somebody's trying to send us a message. Another crisp 7 a.m. wake up. Welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. Hey, hey, did anybody hear that? It's that song again. Nobody? Really? No, there's nobody hearing that. There's no shot nobody's hearing that. Hey, Francis. Morning, Trevor. Bye, Francis. Listen, Dave, have you noticed some weird things going on lately in the office? Weird? How? What do you mean? I don't know. Lights going off, music suddenly playing in the PA system? No, nothing. Okay, hmm. well, yeah, forget it. Interesting. There must be a rational explanation for all this. There must be. Love how I've got a picture of my turtle on the desk. Gotta keep Kovacs with me at all times. Boop. God, this can't all be a product of my imagination, can it? Hey, Trevor, you up for a couple no, of years no, after... No, 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 I... Sorry, I, I can't. I can't. Well, it's gotten into him. Uh, Leave me alone, look at the please. slow walk. <laughs> The baby steps. <laughs> I don't know why that entertains me so much. <laughs> um. What? That's me. Jesus. Why? Oh, God. Who is doing this? Who on earth is doing this? Would and why is no one noticing? Am I going crazy? I don't know what's up with those like water tubes in the bag, but I like them. Much lately. I need to go to the doctor. It's it's been ages since I had a checkup. Yeah, maybe I'm just overworked. No, I'm not in the mood to play right now. Maybe I'm just overworked. I don't even want to get close to the TV. Not after last time. No, thank you. Who knows what might happen if I turn that droid on? Hmm. Hey, Kovacs? Am I going crazy, buddy? Probably. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna sleep a wink tonight. Did 
the poster in the back is oddly phallic. Like, they had to have known what they were doing with the building right there. Those were I'm, I'm just the saying. Two weeks in my entire life. I'm just saying. Or at least the weirdest. Although it was nothing compared to what I was going to experience later that day. Do you know if they even had a name for it? You mean a name for your... Yes, that's it. The day the running started. The day the running started? Okay. Okay. I, uh, I have to get a hold of myself. It's Friday. Yeah, this architecture is freaking gorgeous, dude. I'll finish here, go back home, have a glass of warm milk, go to sleep. I also love orange, so... The orange color scheme is great. Request the application form via ordinary mail or Adenet. No, thank you. <laughs> Let's get to work. Okay, today's tasks. Nothing like some routine stuff to keep your mind occupied. Oh, come on! I didn't even save. No. Hey, guys, did you lose your... It was just me. What? Gus is dead. Oh. Hills, please. Your supervisor requires your presence in the meeting room on the 10th floor. Now what? And no one's noticing that. Okay. Maybe I am going crazy. What on earth? Don't be a fool. Hmm. No game. Tenth floor. Oh, listen carefully. I don't have much time. As soon as you enter that meeting room, your supervisor is going to congratulate you for winning the Edge Travel Grant. What? what who, who is this? Just listen. Mm -hmm. The Edge Travel Agents will be there with him to arrange all the paperwork. If you leave with them, you won't ever be seen again. Uh oh. What? Wait a second. I didn't even apply for the travel grant. Neither did Gus. Follow my instructions when you exit the elevator. Hmm. It's your only chance to survive. So the travel what? grant is their way of like secretly graduating people out of existence into the afterlife. Oh, they were right. Oh no. Here, on the intercom, look at them. Do those guys look like travel agents to you? No, they Take look the like cops. At the end of the hallway and go straight to the twentieth floor. Whatever happens, do not stop until you get there. Okay. Oh, hey. Trevor, come here. Just, hey, hey, boss, I'm just gonna keep on walking along. No, 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 they've seen me. Uh oh. And with this measure, excuse me. You can't be here, mister. This is a private meeting. Well, I'm not staying, don't worry. I'm, I just, I have to, I just, don't mind me. Bye. Just, just passing through. Mmm. Let me in. Sorry, hold it. Take the stairs. Bye. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now what do I do? When you reach the 20th floor, cross the Ada room lobby and enter the supercomputer room. The supercomputer room? I don't have clearance to access the... Don't worry. I'll take care of that. Okay. We had to go. <gasps> Fatal error. What? My game crashed. Let's let's get back to it. <laughs> Where is that gonna put me back at? Okay. Odd little hiccup. Damn it! There's no exit here. Hey, you strange voice or whatever you are. Can you hear me? What do I do now? Wait in there. I have to do something really quick. What? Calm down. Don't panic. I'll be right back. 
Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry to leave you hanging there, Trevor. But admin permissions are updated daily, so I have to do this right here and right now. Interesting. Wait, all checked. Next phase of the plan. There she is. Kendra Tomlin, my inept boss. She's hmm. probably been logged into her computer all day, lurking through her assigned citizen grid, enjoying a quiet day with no incidents. Well, that's about to change as soon as I shut down her computer for my cell phone, which I don't remember where I put. Ah, oh, where did I leave my cell phone? Where did I leave my cell phone? No matter how hard I try, I oh. always have an awkward expression in my ID photos. Huh. Interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, hmm. Engineering and advanced programming books. Some are in English and some are in Spanish. Interesting. Arpad Kovac signed this postcard for me when I met him at TechCon in huh. 1999. Uh, to Angela, the true architect of tomorrow. Hmm. I have to admit that changing the billboards was a bit theatrical, but that's the way I am, I guess. It's fair. I wonder if Kovacs the turtle is named after that Kovacs. Mm hmm. Did I miss anything over here? I have to grant myself admin permissions to help Trevor. Without them, I'm afraid I can't do anything to help him. Mm hmm. Oh. The weather forecast predicts a blizzard for the next three days. Yay! Where could oh, my phone be? Mess. Someday I'll have to get this huge mountain of paper in order. Digital and deadly. Uh-uh. I gotta get my cell phone and hack Kendra before... Here ah, you are. There it is. Now I only have to access Kendra's computer and unleash hell. I wrote down her IP here... Oh, how stupid can I be? Only I could think of writing something that important on my hand. Clutzius activist. Uh, one ninety. One seven two. Uh, this one ends in a two. Two thirty two. Twenty three. Sorry for interrupting Back another the hard day of procrastination, Kendra. Just a couple seconds to begin the cursing and screaming in three, two, one, one again. And there we go. Total system shutdown. Now, Kendra, you better follow the protocol like a responsible supervisor and call Jean. Yeah, of course it's Kendra. Yelling? And here it comes, directly from the server room. Gene Wynn, the admin guy. Hey, Gene. Poor Gene, I really hey, need man. Okay, the server room will be empty as long as Gene is pulling all of Kendra's oh, aggro. What took you so long? And by the looks of it, you it's gonna be a while. Gene? So next phase, okay. inside the server room. Can't be caught on the surveillance cameras. Just gonna slip in there real quick. Don't mind me. The hallway to the server room is tracked by three surveillance cameras. I need to get close to the cameras and upload the loop footage from my cell phone. But I have to be sure the right video is uploaded to the right camera. Uh, okay, this is loop corridor. Ah, here it is. Let's link to cam one. Uh, hmm. This, I'm this is sure loop server. The of directors would have gladly erased Kovacs from this picture if they yep. could. Okay, now we need loop lobby. Mm, where 
is this one at? Upload. All the videos are uploaded and playing. Nice. The I can enter the server room now. And the server room is where? Question mark. Over here. Do I know? Shit. I forgot that Gene still uses the old four-digit security system. Hmm. And I don't know his passcode. What would Gene's passcode be? Is it 1208? <laughs> oh, look at this. I can't believe it. You're hmm. an absolute disaster when it comes to security measures, Gene. Ta-da! That's open. not great for a, a systems admin. Why did it close back immediately? Ta-da! Door open. There we go. There's nothing of interest in Gene's computer. The servers are in that room in the back. Is there anything else in here that I would like to look at? No. Ah, there's your IP. Admin permissions. Now I only have to access the servers and grant myself admin permissions. Got it. Now back to my office. I definitely know how to do that. Okay. Back to my office. I was never here. Shit, I almost forgot to restore the surveillance cameras before returning to Trevor. Yes, all cameras are back to... Hey. Oh, oh. uh, Kendra. Hi. I think this is normal? Uh, uh, I, 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 I can explain. Seriously, I have tons of work to worry about, and they expect me to meet my deadlines with constant screw-ups? This is not normal. Oh. Oh. Of you course not. That... Uh, no, no, of course not. That is totally unacceptable. This is the second time I've had the same sudden crash. Remember it also happened a few days ago? Boom. And all my work goes down the drain in an instant. Guess yes. you could uh, you should have yes, saved remember. regularly. Sure. Uh definitely Jean has something to do about that issue, of course. Anyway, looks like it's going to take a while. Fancy a latte macchiato with a cafeteria? Uh, sorry, Kendra, I still have some things to finish, and given what happened to you, I don't want to risk losing all my work, too, you know? That's fair. Hi, Vio, I thought she had caught me. This little plant <laughs> managed to survive, despite my black thumb. Is this uh, November 6th? Jesus, I forgot to call Grandpa for his birthday. He's going to be mad. Hmm. Or Grandpa Miguel. All right. Okay, We're back Trevor. to Trevor. Oh, thank God. But wait, your voice is... Oh, I forgot to turn the voice modulator on. Ah, damn it. Oh, oh well. Fine. I'd rather listen to a human voice than whatever that was before. It's going to be pacing. Yeah. What difference does it make now? Anyway, let me open that big door. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, I can cycle. Can affect the lamp. Ah, I see, I see, okay. Wow, that computer room is really dark. That's not a computer room, Trevor. Go inside, please. Uh, okay. What is it then? I see it says on air. Piece on that table ahead of you. Put it on so we can speak directly. I have okay. earpiece. Got my Bluetooth in. You hear me? Loud and clear. And you? I can hear you too. Yes. What 
What is this place? Where am I? And why does it look like the backstage of a TV studio? Because it is. Trevor. I wonder why. This is Arcadia's backstage. What? No, 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 no. This, this is this is the Ada room, the most powerful computer ever built. Ada means artifact disposal area. Oh. This is where the containers from all INAC employees are dumped to be huh. processed and destroyed. But that that doesn't make any sense. INAC would lose millions if they just INAC can't lose shit because INAC is not a real company. It's just another one of Arcadia's intricate lies. But you've had enough. Interesting. Let me show you the truth for once. Okay. So the fourth wall is dropping and dude is realizing he's been He's been bamboozled the whole time. Yes, Trevor, have a seat. Now in its 55th season, American Arcadia. A 43 square mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Arcadia, where a complex system of thousands of cameras registers the everyday lives of their 23,414 Arcadia-born citizens. Mm. Experience love, drama, and scandal from all of your favorite Arcadia celebrities. Steve Just, DJ Zoom, Tiffany Amber Gaines, and many Do -do 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 more. DJ Zoom. Comment Bing. and be a part of... American Arcadia live from Interesting. the Arcadia Dome. I'm your host, Vivian Walton. What? What is this? This, Trevor, is your life. A life that has been recorded and compiled right down to the last second. What? Why on earth would anybody be interested in my life? That's exactly the problem, Trevor. Nobody is interested in your life. I'm pretty sure you know who Steve Rudy? Just is. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows aerobic Steve. He's... The most popular person in Arcadia? Of course he is. Well, this is Steve Just's track camera view rate. That's mm -hmm. the number of people outside Arcadia who watch his life 24-7. And this is your track camera view rate. Oh. Actually, you only have one person following your track camera. And that's me. Dang. You're not an absolute jerk, an egomaniac, or obnoxious. You're just an average Joe with an ordinary life. View rate too point zero zero one four. Too ordinary. Too ordinary for what? To be profitable, Trevor. You're not good American Arcadia material. In here, a popular person means sponsorships, media hmm. coverage, ads, merchandise. In short, money. And as the audience ratings of American Arcadia are in negative growth, the show can't afford to maintain people like you anymore. Interesting. Citizens need to be, be retired for Cold. Re retired? You, you mean... Yes, I mean exactly what you're thinking. But Interesting. They can't do that, right? They can't kill me, can they? Not legally. But again, who's going to miss you if you never ever show up again? Nobody That's true. In your life, remember? Oh my god. This, this is a nightmare. This can't be true. Trevor, I know this is tough to swallow, but we have to keep going, okay? Oh. Okay. 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 That's a lot of process. So, first of all, you're realizing that your entire life and the lives of everyone around you is a show. So that's that's one mind-breaking thing in and of itself. But then absorbing the fact that the popular people are the one that the ones that get to live and thrive and whatnot and the people that aren't getting any attention because they're boring or whatever they're getting cut like they're they're literally being killed out here. Like, they, they do not get to survive. And I'm... 
I don't know how to put into words my my thoughts on this, but I'm feeling parallels from Twitch streaming and the people that have like the thousands of views and they're you know making a, making a living from live streaming on a regular basis, like putting their life out there, and the people that have like zero and one viewers that are like struggling in in the shadows that end up you know they end up ending their 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 time live streaming because they never gained any traction right they got cut technically that's a personal choice at that point but i'm 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 feeling that parallel here and as somebody that doesn't have thousands of twitch viewers it definitely Definitely hits weird. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Good. We can try to use your anonymity. But just the concept of here. this happening this in you have to leave the Inac building like in your everyday life. Station. That's gotta hit hard. You, whoever you are, I, I don't see a way around here. There is a wardrobe case back there. Bring it here and climb on it to get to that platform. Um where? Ah, okay. I see, I see. This is where that 2.5D situation comes into play. Okay, okay. Open the door. Hey, uh, hey, I, I can't see anything in here. Could you do something about that, please? All right. Uh, is that better? Now let's try to find a way out of here. Ah, okay, okay. <sighs> Interesting. Sure, are you wheezing? You're in terrible shape, man. Did you get any exercise at all? No, not not since PE in high school. Because of my metabolism, I don't easily gain weight, so I don't usually do any. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not here to judge your lifestyle or your dietary habits. Just save your breath and keep going, will you? Ah, uh, okay, okay. There we go. Scoot that over so I can see. Ah. I see what's happening. Okay, okay. Parkour. Cool. Hmm. Can I get up top up there? No, I don't think so. Uh, maybe? Question mark? Ah. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Trevor, hi. No, but he must be around backstage. We better find him quick. Uh oh. Let's see. So they're hunting me. There we go. Okay. Spotlight on. Oh, I see, I see. Lift that up. Move this. Bring it back down. 
Send it up. Yeah. Uh, maybe... Oh. I have to put the crate on it. I see. We got there. Just took a second. Sneaking through the vents here makes me think of little nightmares. Except I don't have horrible creatures trying to eat me that are chasing me through the vents. Great game, by the way. Citizens. We Both have of them. New Edge Travel Grant winner. His name is Trevor Hills, a 28-year-old account manager with no friends and a boring life that nobody gives two shits about. Wow. <laughs> You're so mean, Vivian. I'm sorry, I just can't help myself. I know the rules. All grant winners must be publicly announced, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, I don't see the point in it. Who cares about this guy? Look anyway, at that. Let's take five and we'll record it in one go, okay? Look at those screens in the back. They remind me of like proper Twitch chat overlays. Like you can see the chat on the side, you see the chat box at the bottom, the viewers. Huh. Interesting. Oh, very surreal. This feels so... This is something else. I love the concept. Vivian Walton is a horrible person? Surprise! I think evil bitch <laughs> describes her better, but... It's that evil bitch who hosts American Arcadia Live feeds every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8pm. That it is. Where the Walton Empire's true heiress drags her family legacy through the mud. <laughs> and the audience loves her. Hmm. So yeah, she's a horrible person. Sorry, man. Interesting. Have you seen a guy around here dressed in seventies clothing? Yes, about twenty thousand every day. Uh. I work in American Arcadia, man. Can't you be <laughs> a little more specific? Yeah, Caucasian male, fair-haired. Oh, with that description, I can narrow it down to. 5,000 individuals, maybe? <laughs> Six foot tall, mustache, and wears glasses. Have you seen him or not, smartass? Well, the only person that I've seen fitting that description is you. <laughs> what a prick. <laughs> hey, what happened? What do I know? Let who turned out the lights? Hey, who turned out the lights? For now? This light thing is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Fix it. It's on again. Interesting. Okay, so I need to shut off the light. Again? Damn it. Run. He should have seen me there. 100%. Was I supposed to move something? Oh no. Oh no. It's back on. Oh, I see. <laughs> Do I need to cut that out? It's working again. Can I just like stand behind this? So he's not gonna care that there's a random uh a random cart. Just very out of place here. Not my job, thank you very much. There we go. Just as long as he doesn't see me specifically. We're good. Okay. Ugh, mannequins. Mannequins? They put mannequins in here too, just to fill up seats? Yep. Interesting. Go. Just to make the world seem more fleshed out. Because they've been cutting costs, taking people out, sending them on their vacation. Trevor, hide quick. Uh oh. 
Not yet, but we've got all the exits covered. Good. He's not gonna get out of this building. Unless he grows a pair of wings. What if I do grow a pair of wings? Shit. Plan B, Trevor. Forget about the elevator. You have to find another way out. Me? Hmm. I'm an account manager. The only things I can find are mistakes and balance sheets. <laughs> <sighs> Let me think. Um, there's a uh, there's a window in front of you, right? You're not thinking of. We need to get you to the closest monorail station. You want me to jump possible. out this window? There's no other option. There's another station literally in front of the Inoc building. Didn't you hear them, Trevor? What part of all exits are covered? Didn't you get? Oh, this is That's a good seriously point. bad idea. Oh lord. Am I really hopping out the window here? Oh no. Oh god. This is really high. I don't do heights. Down, Trevor. I shouldn't have gotten out of bed today. In which case you'd already be dead by now. Just don't panic and let me think of something. Hmm. How far down is that going? Ah, oh, okay, we're good. It's like this it ever stop. top. Please move pigeons. Trevor? Trevor, you're doing all right. How high up am I? Oh, I'm. I'm several stories up. That's it. See, it wasn't that bad. Am I going up? Why am I going up I and not down? I don't even know your name or why you're doing this. I'd rather not give you more details right now, for safety reasons. But you can call me Kovacs. Kovacs? Like, like my turtle? What? No, man. Kovacs, the Hungarian scientists and architects of tomorrow. Science always finds a way and all that, you know? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our pet Kovacs. I was a huge fan, too. I named my turtle after him. Oh, the turtle is named after him. Okay. Your turtle into this conversation? Well, I just thought... Yeah, forget it. Just gonna sneak along here. Trevor, watch out. Oh. Don't let the bargain basement beastie boys see you. <laughs> the bargain basement beastie boys? <laughs> beastie boys. The uh, travel agents. Don't let the travel agents see you. Hexagon, please revert shutter at my location. Thank you. Hexagon, shutter malfunction. Revert to open state, please. Oh. Don't mind me. Moving on up. Trevor, I must say you are coping quite well with all this physical stress, despite your age. Despite my age. You mean my age. I'm 28. You're. Oh, oh, you're. Uh, sorry about that. I. Uh, uh... Rude. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's the mustache. Oh my. You see the guy? Uh, uh, hmm. There's no way he climbed out the window. What do they expect? The stapler guy from office space climbing out of a window? Come on. Stapler. I see. So y'all are referencing office space. So y'all know. Then explain why a boss man looks like office space guy. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Uh-oh. Go, go, go. Yeah, easy. First try. No questions asked. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Jump now up. What? Now what? What? Just jump over the gap and move forward. Are Are you sure? If I miss, I die. Oh, It'll be huh? fine. Trevor, even my grandpa could jump that. Oh, Mr. Hills, what are you doing? You're going to hurt yourself, Mr. Hills. It's time to go. Oh shit! 
The travel agents are here. Uh, jump now. <laughs> Please stop running. Stop immediately. No, no, I'm good. Not everyone who wanders is lost. Get over that crane, Trevor, quick. Go, go, go. Oh yes, no. Me. He's going over the crane. Damn it. I'll, I'll try to cut him off. Uh, oh no, 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 no. And... No, I got caught. Get over that crane, Trevor, quick. Uh-oh. The crane? Yes, trust me. He's going over the crane. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. No! It wouldn't let me jump. Get over that crane, Trevor, quick. But the crane? Yes, trust me. He's going over the crane. Uh, oh no, 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 uh, oh no, 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 okay, no, let's no, try this. No, no, no. Okay. Let's go. You got a death wish or what? No. Nah. I'm running out. Oh. Jump as far as you can. Hiya! Sploosh. Wait, you jumped into a swimming pool from the 20th floor of a building? That pool is not deep enough for that high of a dive. And while I think it's pretty obvious, I'm not exactly a daredevil. Although in hindsight, that jump was nothing compared to what I had to do afterwards. What did I have to do afterwards? Dry enough? No, I'm still soaking wet. Everyone is completely unbothered. Get moving before the travel agents get down here. The travel agents chasing me over rooftops and everything is making me think of the matrix a little bit i do like that dog mascot and i still say that's alt disney wow they sent a helicopter after me that's gonna be expensive <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Didn't Tony Stark's dad try to start like a going, Trevor. You're doing great. tech no, metropolis? To the station. I need you to cross the monorail tracks. I may be you were gonna say that, remembering but... wrong. So. Oh, damn it. But this feels like a concept somebody's tried to do before, aside from the whole like TV show thing. Is that a Disney thing? Is that what Epcot is? Damn it! Hills got out of the Inac. Not sure. How is that possible? My signal, I want you to hold ass like there's What's going on? Somebody stop. Don't mind me. There he is! Catch him! Oh no! Trevor, watch out. Well that was not as effective as I'd hoped. Hills got out of the Inac East Tower? How is that possible? He jumped signal, to the pool, I want you to man. Haul ass like there's What's no going alarm? on? Somebody stop that car alarm. Now, Trevor, run! It's I'm going. Else. Get him! Come here, you. Uh oh. Ah. Woo! Running up the escalator, I would fall flat on my face. Get to the last car of the monorail. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Bye. In your face. What are you gonna do now, huh? Yeah. Look at the face of that 
bestie kid or whatever you call them. No, uh, no, it's not. Not to be confused with the Beastie what Boys. It's the bestie know? kid. Sorry, I did just, just got a bit overexcited. <laughs> so, where are we headed to, Kovacs? Right into the Cygnus lobby. Grand Hotel Cygnus? What for? There's a badge I need you to retrieve there. Hmm. A badge? Interesting. Your holidays in Arcadia are about to begin. Soon you'll be transported to the stunning city of tomorrow. But before you have dinner at the top of the top spire, of the spire, enjoy the best disco music in the Limelight Club, or discover the magic of Comet Land. There's something else you need to know. Introducing Access Badge, an amazing electronic device that will allow you to make the most of your Arcadia vacation. Hmm. Carefully designed to look like a real 1970s prop, your Access Badge will be scanned at the checkpoint terminal on your entry day, and that's it. I see. You don't even need to check in at the front desk. Just use your Access Badge to get hmm. into your hotel room and start having fun. So that's what we need. Even our Droid operated room service will be entirely at your disposal thanks to your access badge. And remember, if you're using the Insta Delivery Service, your bags will be waiting in your room just a few seconds after you open the door. Looks like a dumb waiter. Please carry your access badge with you at all times during your Arcadia visit until the day you leave at your assigned departure checkpoint. Now you are ready to experience the city of tomorrow as Elijah Walton himself envisioned it. Hmm. Remember, enjoy your stay in Arcadia and do not break the fourth wall. Enjoy your stay in Arcadia and do not break the fourth wall. So they're letting people from the outside world in? Hotel, Cygnus, Cygnus. Is that what I'm seeing? Sounds like they're letting people from the outside world in. But just don't break the fourth wall. Okay. Interesting. I like the swans in the background. This place is pretty. Love the water feature. Very nice. Okay. Well, that was the end of chapter one. I'm interested in where American Arcadia is going. I'm, I'm curious to see what else happens in the game. Uh, if you enjoyed this little first look at American Arcadia, let me know if you'd like to see more of the playthrough. And yeah, if you'd like to pick up a copy of the game for yourself, there will be a link down in the description to Steam. I am not sure if the game is available on consoles. Um... Okay, so it's just on PC. All right, yeah. So there will be a Steam link down in the description. Like I said, I enjoyed American Arcadia so far. I'm interested in playing more. So if you want to see more of the playthrough, let me know. Leave a like. That really helps out the video. And yeah, tune in next time for maybe more American Arcadia. Maybe something else. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.